12 years ago, being a Lower East Side native, it's like a myth. Everyone remembers it, everyone talks about it, so the hype is just as intense. That's why we're here. People have been lining up uh, since yesterday and they've been sleeping in their cars. The first 20 people got wristbands, so they were able to kind of leave and go chill for a bit, but um, everyone's been back here since 6 a.m. basically. What I remember seeing highlights on news and you know reading the cover of the New York Post and him having the cover page and I thought it was incredible. At that time, um, you know, the sneaker thing was a subculture and uh, to see where it is now, it's been an incredible thing. You know, that was 2005, you know, we're in 2017, so the progression has been amazing. It's a hundred times crazier than it was then. And I actually, you know, when we were pre-planning this, I thought it might be more calm, mainly based because of the number of releases that are coming out nowadays. You know, I thought like, there's plenty of shoes for kids to buy, you know, in addition to the pigeon, but like I figured they'd have options and stuff. You know, there's also the reselling thing. I figured some kids would just be like, you know what, I'm gonna just chill at home and get it on resale, it's fine. But the fact that the, the community in New York really came out and showed love on this and waited in line for like two days now, um, some about this pigeon, man. It's, it's an honor, you know what I mean? It's an honor because I don't get to make that decision. You know, like I don't get to say that I'm relevant. It's, it's people waiting in line and sleeping outside that, that decides the relevancy of what I make, you know what I mean? So it's a pure blessing. I just try to do me and I'm glad that the public reacts to that.